sisters. How y'all doing today? Guess what we're about to cook for the first time. Guess what we're going to be cooking? I have watched, uh, washed up some uh, pig feet and some hog maws. Y'all remember back in the day we had on New Year's for uh, chitlins and, ho and uh, hog maws? Well, I'm going to do it with the pig feet for the first time in the oven. I was watching some people and I was like, oh, I never did pig feet in the oven. So we're going to do it together for the first time, y'all. So, uh, again, they are already washed. I do have my seasonings. I'm going to be using a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm going to use just a pinch of red pepper flakes because I want a little spice. I'm going to be using a tablespoon of parsley. Uh, tablespoon of every single thing but more of garlic uh, powder that is. I'm probably going to be using two tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm going to be using a tablespoon of onion powder. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of salt because a lot of these things, uh, what am I adding that has salt? The Lowry's. I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of Lowry's because it does have salt. Of course, you can't do anything without your black pepper. And I'm going to use some of Grace Browning just for color. And then I'm going to use some smoked uh, a, te a tablespoon of smoked Spanish paprika. Y'all see that? So, over here, I've already cut up six fresh garlic cloves, a whole onion, a whole bell pepper, and I did do three stalks of celery, including the leaves. So, y'all, Let's get started. Oh, and I preset my oven on 350. Uh, they said that you have to cook them for about three or four hours, but I forgot a couple of things, y'all. I'm going to be sprinkling a lid of apple cider vinegar and a little brown sugar. Y'all ready? I'm so ready for this. And I'm going to be cooking this with some collards with a little cabbage in it and some black eyed peas and maybe uh, some skillet cornbread. So let's get started y'all. So again, these have already been washed and ready to go. So let's go. I'm gonna, and I'm not using a measuring spoon either y'all. You know, black folk but way back in the kitchen, your grandmama and them, and your auntie and them that was in that kitchen all together, honey, they didn't use no measuring spoons cause we knew what flavor was and we still know what flavor is cause we got that flavor. The soul food flavor, that is. So, you can start with a tablespoon. I'm going to start with just <laughs> what I do. And you know, this Spanish, you know, people say paprika is for, um, a paprika, however you want to announce it. It's for coloring, but smoked Spanish really does have a good flavor to it, y'all. So, that goes in. I'm not going to sprinkle... Uh, my uh, Italian seasoning, but uh, a tablespoon is good. And also of the parsley. I want y'all to see me doing this, y'all. Of the parsley. I'm going to use a tablespoon of onion powder. Now y'all get that seasoning all over that meat, y'all, now. Don't be holding back and of the garlic powder. Y'all know when you're heavy seasoning, it smells so good. We're gonna go in just with a little Lowry, because once again, y'all, you don't want your stuff to be so salty. I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon of salt. And my red pepper flakes, y'all. You know, I like my stuff kind of spicy. But this is not even a half a teaspoon, though. Just, you know, for a little flavor. I'm going in with my black pepper. And then I'm going to go in uh, with a little brown sugar. Maybe a pinch of brown sugar, y'all. I'm not going to use a lot of brown sugar. And, and um, what the lady said who I was watching, she said it's not going to make it any sweeter either. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to go in with my brownie. Okay. 
Just a little, y'all. A little goes a long way with this browning. And then, you know, back in the day, we used these. These hands to mix our meat. I know today they say, put on gloves. I'm not putting on no damn gloves. That's not how we did it. That's what soap and water is for. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to mix this all up. Okay, y'all. So watch me. It smells so good, too. We want to get in there and kind of get these all nice and coated with this good seasoning up in here, y'all. You can wash your hands when you get to. As you get to the next step, that is. Now, y'all, these will be cooking low and slow in this oven, but I think after two hours, I'm going to flip them. So I'll probably start them on uh, their backs, and then I'll flip them too. And y'all, these these the hog miles. Y'all remember them? Look at that. Look at that seasoning, y'all. That's what you got to do. Can't just, you know, be half doing nothing up in these pots anymore, baby. Ooh, child. It smells so good. Okay, I got them the way I want them. I'm going to wash my hands, y'all, because we're going to put the dry seasoning in now. Yep, you remember this is what we did back in the old days. Just use a little salt. I mean salt, some little soap and water, y'all. Y'all want to see what it looks like when you get in there and you massage this food with your bare hands? It ain't nothing better than using bare hands, honey. Because all your seasons is not stuck on that plastic stuff. Y'all ready? Look at that. That's what it looks like when it has a good massage. All right, y'all. We're going to now take our dry veggies and sprinkle them around like so. Oh, y'all, this smells so good. cut my onion up in circles and I'm just going to lay them like over these uh, pig feet and hog mouths. Y'all, this is my first time so I'm really hoping that it comes out scrumptious. So next, I'm going to drizzle a little apple cider vinegar. Just a little, y'all. Because, you know, even when I'm boiling them, I use my apple cider vinegar. That's good. And then I'm going to take a half a cup of water. I'm going to take a half a cup of water, y'all. I'm not going to pour it directly on, on top of my pig feet, though. And pour it on the side. And then I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to put it in the oven for two hours to start. And then we'll come back and see what they're looking like. And then we will flip them over again. So stay tuned to the hood girl in them old trots, baby. Hey, Hustas, I'm back again. Oh, y'all, I went to church and I left the, uh, I left the meat in the um, oven. So it's been three hours. So they are done and tender. So let me see. Let me let y'all see uh, what baked pig feet and hog mouths look. And they are really tender too, y'all. Y'all ready for the reveal? 
Y'all ready? Okay, let me bring this down some. Look at that. Ooh, honey, don't that look so freaking delicious. I am so ready, y'all, to eat it. So let's let's take one and let me show y'all how tender it is. Let me get a salsa. Y'all ready? Ooh, that looks so good. I want to get one with a lot with some meat on it because these will cook. Oh, they just falling off the bone, y'all. Let me get one that'll hold up. Here go one. Look at that. Look at that. Look, it just falls off the bone. Look at that. You, you talk about tender. Mm, we got to give it a taste, though, y'all. It's hot, too. Ooh, it's, look at that. Just how tender it is, y'all. Falling off the freaking bone. That's that hand massage. Like when we would saw we we massage those men, what happens after that good old hand massage? Mm -hmm. Y'all already know I'm naughty and nice. I'm nice and naughty. Oh my God! Mm. Ooh! Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is. Mm. All I need is some hot sauce, y'all. Some Louisiana hot sauce. I'm going to suck them bones, though, off camera. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. Hmm, take a bite. What a hot. Mm, oh, mm, 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 so, y'all, I'm about to make uh, collard greens and cabbage now. I didn't see no fresh collard greens at the store, so I, this is my first time buying bad greens. I've never cooked them before, but I'm going to wash them like I do, and then I'll come back and show y'all what they look like when they're done. I love y'all. Bye, hoodsters.